Hi guys, in today's video I'm gonna give you the list of things that you're going to need in order to start your seeds indoors. And the reason I'm putting this list together is because when I first started growing, um, I couldn't start for a week because every time I wanted to start growing I realized that I don't have something so I had to go get it. This way you guys are gonna have the complete list and you can just start your seeds tomorrow and uh, it will take you about half an hour. I hope you guys uh, find this list beneficial. Um, here are the items you're going to need. Of course, the first thing you're going to need is your seeds. However, it's a good idea to check what's appropriate for your uh, grow zone. And down below, I'm gonna put a link to the USDA website where you can enter your zip code and find out what grow zone you're in and what it's appropriate to grow there and uh, a couple of other tips as far as what and when to grow where in the United States. Another thing that I would like to use instead of the grow trays that they sell at the stores is water plastic cups. And I love those guys because they're clear, they're see-through and I love watching the roots of my seeds growing. And you don't have, if you don't have those, you can definitely use different ones. However, it's very important to drill holes in the bottom. And I'm underlining, drill. Don't use sharp objects and try to poke them because you're gonna end up hurting yourself. And I'm telling you this because I did. Another thing you will need is plastic strips. And you can use any old plastic container and cut them. But I use my old yogurt containers and cut the strips from them. And on those strips, write the date that I'm planting my seed and the name of the seed that I'm planting. This way I don't lose track. And I like to be very organized, as you have noticed probably already. Another very important part is your seed starting growing mix. And this is the one I use, and I've used it a few times now, and I absolutely love it. The seeds just go crazy in it. And you can buy it from any Home Depot or Lost, or they both have it. A couple of other things that it's good to have is a Sharpie. You're going to use the Sharpie to write the name of the seeds that you're growing on your plastic strips. And what I find very helpful, I use my measuring tape, I put the pencil right next to it, and then I drew a line quarter of an inch, half an inch, three quarters of an inch, and an inch. This way, for example, the tomato seeds, they have a quarter of an inch depth. So you just drill a little hole into the dirt with this one. It's very, very I helpful. I use plastic wrap to cover my seeds after I plant them. This way they stay warm. Another item you're going to need is a dinner plate and paper towels cut into squares, two and a half inch squares. And on a top paper towel, write the name of the seed, and I will explain to you why tomorrow. That's very important for your seed growing. You will also need some sort of a tray. You can use any old kitchen foil tray. I prefer this one from my oven because it's sturdier. The reason I prefer this one to this one is because I put when I put my seeds here and I water them and they get heavy, and I try to move it, it, try, it tends to bend but you can use whatever you have guys, it will work. And of course, you will need water. The tricky part about the water is that it has to be old. Make sure that, for example, if you're gonna start your seeds tomorrow, you fill up your bottle tonight and leave it open overnight. This way the chlorine in the water will evaporate because you don't want any chlorine anywhere near your seeds or your soil because the chlorine tend to kill the good stuff in the soil. Last, but not least, you will need a notebook. Because I'm very organized, I like to keep a journal when I start my seeds. And I write the name of the seeds, how long it takes to germinate, and then I will write down the date it germinated, and I will write down the dates that I watered it, I will write down as well um, when I transplanted, and so forth. And it's very important for fertilizing your plants when you feed them, because you don't want to underfeed them or overfeed them. Some fertilizers are every three weeks, every two weeks. It's hard to remember when you have different plants. So having a journal is very helpful. So I hope this list was helpful. And if you guys have any questions, please put them in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so up in the link above. And if you think that other people can benefit from this video, Please share it on social media and I will see you guys next time when we're going to plant our seeds. Thank you guys. Bye.